Okay, so I've made some changes to the edited the class that we created for this little box here. So I'm going to share with you what I did. So the background color I sampled, the height, because I vertically want the type to vertically be in the center of that little box. So this is going to be 22 pixels high. I got that when I screen captured the box. I'm going to change this to 130 pixels. Then I'm going to go to block and define this as a block of type. It has to be defined as a block of type. Then I vertically align this to the center of the box. Now, how do I get the content to go to the right? I float this to the left. By floating to the left, gets the content to go to the right. So if you look at my final results here, this is basically looking really good. Okay. So now I need to change the paragraph inside of here. Now, we're going to select the P tag. Now, I don't want to basically, very important step here, I don't want to change the paragraph of the div tag. I'm going to change the paragraph I'm sorry, I'm not going to change the formatting of the div tag. I'm going to change the formatting of the paragraph inside of the div tag. Inside of the div tag. I'm going to make a further change here. I'm going to go back to the H1 tag, the H1 tag inside of news, and from the bottom of the news, bottom, box, bottom, I'm going to basically drop that down about five pixels. And there are about five pixels of space between the box itself and the paragraph, the news paragraph. So let's make a rule for the paragraph. P for paragraph inside of news. P for paragraph inside of news. Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Okay, so we're gonna make a rule for P for paragraph. So this is going to be smaller typeface. Now I can do things with percentages. So I can make this like 90%. 90% of what? 90% of the body tag. So basically it's 90%. And if it needs to be less, let's make this 85%. Now if you wanna give it exact height width, knock yourself out. Now we also need to indent this. Using this one down here as a guide here. So we're going to indent this from the left, just from the left, padding, padding from the left, we're going to do five pixels. And now it's indented five pixels to the left. Okay. So now it's starting to look like a website. Okay. Make a change, save a change, make a change, save a change. So let's temporarily hide our tracing image. View, trace image, show. Okay. So how do we get this next paragraph? Well, I'm going to copy, let's just kill this paragraph here. I'm going to copy this, okay? The next section, I'm just going to put placeholder text here. Play is holder, okay? Now here's the cool part. This is an H2 tag. So if I just put my cursor there and hit command two, command two is H2, command three is, so command three is H3, command four is H4, command five, command one, okay? Windows is the control key. I don't have to go down to my property palette to do this. But since I already have a rule for the H tag inside of news, I can simply hit command two. Command two formats it, simple, simple, simple. Then I can select this piece of text and I can go to my class tag and apply it in news box. Simple as pie. Hit the return key, paste. Okay, so I can take this whole section, copy, hit the return key, and paste, and start moving in my furniture. Problem solved, problem solved. Simple, simple, simple. Now, if you want to have more space between your paragraphs, I get it adjust my existing P for paragraph tag. Hit the pencil icon and we're going to adjust the line height. Desktop publishing, this is known as letting. There is no letting inside the website. It's line height. We're going to make this 1.4 M spaces. So therefore, this is going to adjust this. This is going to adjust this. Went up to my apply option. So it's going to adjust the height. So again, pencil icon. Box settings, 1.4, if you want to make it 1.5, etc., etc. And for some reason, my apply option has stopped working. Okay, so there is the news section. Now, of course, you fill in your content, etc., etc. Simply done, effectively done. Okay, now we're moving on here, but it look, looks like our comp on the left side here in the news section is turning out to be a bit of a mess. Now, I don't certainly want to basically bring in different trace images, so what I'm going to do temporarily is go to that news section, and I'm just going to 
edit the mute section so the background color is going to be white. That's going to cover up the tracing image. So I'm just going to make the background color white. Therefore, it starts to look like a web page. Okay, this is a little technique here. Make a change, save a change. Now we're going to do the main content section. Main content section is going to be very simple to do. First of all, we're going to just copy this entire photo here. I do that by hitting command semicolon to hide the guides. And I don't want to have this main content up here. So I'm going to delete that. Okay. Now I don't want this guy here either. So I'm just going to put my cursor down here. Okay, so Command Control Shift 4. Command Control Shift 4. Now, if you already have this photo prepared, then just insert an image. But I'm just showing you a technique how I can copy this image. And we'll do the line too. I'm just going to do the, the image with the line. And let's say graphically that's how it came out. So I copy. Then I put my cursor inside the main content tag. So I'm inside the main content tag here. And I paste, copy, paste. Here's my image. And I hit OK. And I'll call that uh, placeholder image main content. Okay, so let's put that inside the images folder and save that. Okay, let's just call that for search engine purposes my new image. Okay, and it's going to take the image and it's going to put it there. Okay, now that it was just sitting there. Now, the only change you probably have to make at this point is to just basically adjust the padding from the top of this div tag, which was the main content div tag. So I'm just going to go to the edit menu and drop this down from the top a little bit, maybe another plus three pixels, which means we need to minus minus three pixels. Again, we're going to let the content build itself. This is just for the purpose until we finish the comp. And I hit OK. And it's just going to move the picture gap a little bit. Okay? So now my, the rest of my content can go. The rest of my content can now be down here. Okay? Now, if you want to start this, I don't want to have to, if I don't have to make an additional div tag, it's a good habit to not have to make additional div, div tags to do this. So we're just going to say, okay, if there's an image here, here we're going to make a rule for the image to push the content away. So I'm going to make a rule for the image tag inside of main content. Now pay close attention to this. because It's a simple mistake to make. I'm going to select the tag. I'm going to make a rule. Select the tag. Make a rule. But don't jump ahead on this. Okay? I'm going to make a rule for the image tag. Not inside the P tag. Inside the image tag. Dreamweaver is going to let you make a mistake if you don't pay attention to what you're doing. The image tag. So I'm simply going to create a rule for the image tag. So at the bottom of the image tag, we're going to separate this by, now I can do M spaces or pixel spaces. So let's simply do 30 pixels from the bottom. And it's going to put the, how good am I? It's going to put the text right there at the money, 30 pixels down. Okay, make a change, save a change. Now keep in mind, if you put another image inside this div tag, it's going to do that. Well, let's say this is the format of our page month after month. There's a solo picture that goes there, and then body copy happens after. So here's my new body copy. So let's make this an H2 tag. So we're going to basically select that, Command 2. We're going to make this the same content, the same content. So we're going to select the tag and make the rule. Select the tag, make the rule. We're going to make a rule specifically for the H2 tag inside of main content. Again, this appears to be Palatino or similar. So we make this Palatino. And this is initial cap, so we're going to make this capitalized. I didn't type it in. You don't want to type it in that way. You want to type it in lowercase, and we're going to sample. Now, important step here. This is probably spec whoever did the comp, so get those HTML sizes and HTML colors from whoever did the comp. And unless you did the comp, you should know this. So I hit the apply option. Okay. So therefore, ah, it's looking pretty good. It looks like we got it right up money. So I hit OK. OK, so we're going to call that. Cut the best of beauty master list. So best of, and we're going to type lowercase, best 
of beauty master list. Okay, now again, this typeface is probably a little too big, so we're going to select this and just change the font size. Let's make that 18 pixels. And it still looks a little too big, so let's make that 16 pixels. Perfect. Okay, again, you get the specs and whoever did the comp. That just makes sense. Now I'm going to hit the return key. So here's, you know, I'm going to put a paragraph. So I'm going to say insert, and I'm going to put my one paragraph of Greek text. So there's my one paragraph of Greek text. Okay, now this is a little bit too big for that paragraph. So I'm just going to give this paragraph a haircut. Now I'm going to basically make a rule for the P for paragraph specifically for this div tag. Now this is going to be the same rules for the entire site then you just do that the body tag but this is the flexibility of making the P for paragraph different for this particular for this particular div tag. So we're going to say select the tag make a rule. Select the tag make a rule. We're going to make a rule specifically for the P for paragraph inside of main content. Main content. So let's go ahead and make this 12 pixels and apply. Okay, so let's go with 11 pixels and hit OK. Okay, now I want to put some kind of space after that paragraph. Now we're going to make a change here. So we want to put a line between these paragraphs. Well, I'm certainly not going to do something like a horizontal rule. That'd be cuckoo wacky. I'm just going to adjust the existing paragraph existing paragraph, I'm going to go to border and just from the bottom I'm going to put a solid one pixel in gray. So I'm going to pick just a light gray and hit the apply option. So that's going to put a line at the bottom of the paragraph. Line at the bottom of the paragraph. Notice that there's a little bit of space. Looks like apparently there's about uh, a little bit more than a half inch of space here. So from the box at the bottom, the box at the bottom we're going to put, let's put in 24 pixels of padding at the bottom. Am I good at what? Okay, so that puts it right there on the money. Okay, so now, again, I'm going to change this box, the background color of main content, temporarily to hide the trace image. So I'm going to hit the pencil icon and basically go to background and say white. Okay, so now all I have to do is copy, hit the return key, paste, hit the return key, paste, hit the return key, paste. Simple, 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 simple. Get rid of our extra paragraphs. And there's our content. Let's move on to the next step. We need to fix an issue here. These lines are separating the paragraphs, but if that's true, this last line shouldn't have a line separation. So how do we get rid of this? Well, this P for paragraph tag inside of main content had a padding space at the bottom of 24 pixels. Well, first of all, I don't want the line to be in this last, and I notice that I spelled master incorrectly. So I can do a search and replace and find that. So sometimes I do make mistakes. So I'm going to create a rule for the P for paragraph tag, and I'm going to create a class tag, a custom class tag that's defined to this P for paragraph. I'm simply going to call it last line. Simple, 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 last line. And if I learn how to spell last, that would help. So, so basically the parent tag to this is the P for paragraph. So I'm going to say border border none, but then I have to be on top of my game. Remember that I need to get rid of the padding at the bottom. So I'm going to put the padding at the bottom to be zero. Classes are defined, so I select the tag and I assign the tag. I define the tag and I assign the tag. Define the tag and assign it to the class called last line. Problem solved.